What's up YouTube? How the hell you guys doing? Welcome to today's episode of Five Things Fridays. How do you like this setup? Is it a little too moody? Um, is it awesome? I think I like it. Let me know down in the comments whether it's rad or if it's just bad. Here we go. Alright, so here we are. Today's episode is all about vlogging and the five things that I think that you guys need to get as soon as you decide you're going to start vlogging, not only to level up your storytelling, but to level up your vlogs and level up your videos as well. So here we go. Very first thing we're going to talk about is your camera. So your camera is going to be the way that you capture your story, obviously. So you want to for it to look as good as possible and for it to be as cost efficient as possible as well or at least I do so if you're a person that is very budget conscious or you're just trying to you know dip your toe in the vlogging world to see if you even like it then I would recommend starting out with a phone right starting out with your smartphone any new modern smartphone has great video capabilities in it and it's easy to shoot with it's easy to monitor yourself with because it's obviously a screen um, and the sound coming out of them aren't that bad either. You can buy all sorts of third-party lenses and microphones to attach to your phone to make it a little bit easier. So I would highly recommend doing that if you're not totally sure that you want to invest money in vlogging. Um, but besides that, if you're ready to move on up a little bit, I highly recommend moving into the mirrorless format world. And right now my favorite and for the last year and a half to two years I can't really remember when I bought this um, favorite mirrorless camera favorite vlogging camera is the Sony a6400 and I love this camera for so many different reasons but mainly for vlogging is because it's so compact it has amazing autofocus and it has a flip up screen to allow me to monitor myself um, I used to be a Canon fanboy. I've shot with every Canon camera under the sun, minus the 1DX Mark III, um, and I love them. I love Canon, but they always made me feel like I was missing out on something, so I started looking to Sony, and uh, as soon as I got this camera in my hand, as soon as it was released, I bought it, and I've loved it ever since. Um, and it's just perfect for vlogging in my opinion. Some people have complained about it because the flip up screen gets in the way of the hot shoe which they say doesn't allow you to mount a mic because um, the mic gets in the way of the screen. But if you're like me, I buy a cage for every camera that I own and it allows me to mount my mic to the side so it's not in the way of the screen. So problem solved. So highly highly recommend the sony a6400 or if you're also really really into photography um it's bigger brother the sony a7 III. um but video wise this does everything the sony a7 III does at half the price except the sony a3 is full frame and this is not to me that's not a deal breaker i've always shot with aps-c or micro four thirds or um just crop sensor cameras not a big deal um, but if it is you and you want that full frame look, definitely go to the Sony a7 III. Amazing camera there as well. One other camera I'd highly recommend are these pocket size cameras, right? So the Osmo Pocket is a great inconspicuous camera for you to vlog with. And this thing has so many awesome capabilities from object tracking to uh, motion lapse and hyper lapse and all that. Which you can time lapse on this, but it's so much easier on this. Also. Um, the ability to just throw this in your pocket and go and not have to worry about either having a strap or putting this in a bag um, is killer especially when you start buying all the accessories for this little guy um, it really ups the production value of this camera and really turns it into you know just a beast something that you can get uh, amazing video content with in such a small package the only thing that this camera leaves left to be desired is the audio the audio preamps in this just suck. Um, so you have to have an audio workaround. Um, whether you're using a lavalier mic or you are um, putting a, the microphone um, adapter dongle in here and then just plugging a microphone into it. It just makes it awkward to hold. Now, if they come up with an Osmo Pocket 2 and it has great audio in it, this thing is hands down going to be just it's going to destroy the competition i still love this camera i still carry it with me in my bag pretty much everywhere i go 
um, just for all of its other capabilities. Um, amazing camera, highly recommend this if you're getting into vlogging or even for studio work. I've used this for studio work as well as an overhead cam or even just you know a normal straight on shot like this and it looked fine. Camera that I absolutely love if you guys have watched any of my previous videos is this one that I picked up recently. This is the GoPro Max 360 degree camera. Now I believe 360 degree cameras are the vlogging cameras of the future. Now why do I believe that? I believe that because as cameras get more and more advanced and the shooter gets lazier and lazier um, with autofocus and with all the auto functions built in, I believe people are going to get so lazy that they don't want to have to point their camera in any direction and just in post they will um, be able to direct their video that way. Um, now is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool to be able to capture everything. Um, in one of my vlogs, there was almost a car wreck that was happening on the other side of the camera while I was talking to the camera and I was able to spin the camera around so the viewer could see the collision that almost happened uh, because I was shooting in 360 degrees. Now, 360 degrees may not be your thing, but how about an indestructible camera? GoPros are indestructible, they're weather sealed, they're small, they're inconspicuous, um, and they just give you that wide field of view um, that you won't get unless you know you have a camera like this and then you have to spend money on a good wide angle lens. Um, really hard to get sometimes. This already has it. This will focus pretty much all the time for you. Same with this guy. Um, you don't have to worry about focusing on them. Uh, now the only issue is with such small sensors in pretty low light these start to fall apart and it's hard to grade that low light footage to whereas something like this or something like the black magic we're shooting on now i can push and pull that footage and it doesn't fall apart so the camera thing is really up to you um but i highly recommend getting something like this like a pocket size camera and um a mirrorless camera and that will do you pretty much everything you need for a vlog all right, so the second thing you're going to need is you're going to need some sort of support for your camera. Maybe not right away, but you're going to eventually want to set your camera down and talk to it. So we're talking about tripods. So you can be like every other vlogger in the world, made famous by Casey Neistat, and you can use the Joby Gorillapod. These range in size and cost, but you're probably going to spend somewhere between uh, $60 to $100 for one of these. Um, but they do come in handy, not just for giving you that extra extension when you're talking, um, because it gives you another, you know, like foot to hold the camera away from your face. But it also allows you to put your camera in all those weird places like um, just setting it on a table. Or allowing you to just mount it somewhere like this. Or you can use the legs and wrap it around a tree or something like that. So say that you're in a field and you're vlogging and you want to set your camera down and talk to it. But all you've bought is this Joby Gorillapod. So you're going to have to set this on the ground, and since it's so short, you're going to have to pretty much sit on the ground or lay on the ground or back way far away from the camera to talk to your camera, especially if your hands are full and you're trying to show something. So at some point, you're going to have to buy a bigger size tripod. Um, so this one right here is the Dolica Proline. This was like 100 bucks on Amazon, so it's pretty cheap. And that was my intention with this. I have a heavy duty Manfrotto uh, tripod for my studio camera or for when I'm on set filmmaking. But for something for YouTube and for vlogging, this is perfectly fine because it's lightweight. It'll fit on the side of my bag. Um, doesn't bother me if I'm hiking or, you know, walking through the city or something. And um, yeah, it's pretty secure. And for any YouTube camera that I'm going to put on it, it'll hold the weight just fine. Um, so you're going to need something like this eventually, but in the beginning, you know, if you're just walking and talking or if you can find a desk to prop this up on to talk, to set your camera on and talk to your camera, then this is going to be fine. But you're going to need tripods. So uh, I'm going to put the link in the description for all of this stuff, by the way. Um, so thing number three that you're going to need is you're going to need a microphone, right? So you need to capture good audio. Audio will make or break your production, make or break your vlog. Um, most people use the Rode Video Mic Pro. I used to use Rode products a lot, but recently I got into this company Deity 
and I'm using their V mic D3 mic and to me and to my ears it sounds just as good as the Rode VideoMic Pro. If I'm using something for filmmaking, then I'm using bigger, higher-end NTG Rode mics, but for just vlogging, something like this little shotgun mic, it's gonna mount right here on the side of my cage for my Sony. It's perfect. This does all I need. So you guys can get, you know, shotgun mics, or you can get wireless lavalier mics, or whatever you want. This guy right here, I highly recommend. I did a full video on this if you want to check it out, and why I think it's the best mic for vlogging, or at least the best bang for your buck right now. It's a great mic, and it pairs well with what I'm doing, and uh, highly recommend that. No affiliation with any of these companies. This is just what I like. So. Thing number four that I think you guys need to get your vlog on track is you're gonna need a light, right? So not always are you gonna be in the best lighting conditions and not always are you going to be, you know, vlogging during the day. So I highly recommend getting you a pocket light. This right here is the um, Falcon Eyes F7 pocket light. So you can go and you can get one from Aperture or get like a Loom Cube or something like that. Um, they all work well. This is one that I just happen to have. So something like this, I have charged up USB-C so I can charge it off all my battery banks that I carry with me when I go out to shoot. Um, this guy right here, super bright. So the cool thing about it is it's also magnetic on the back so if I'm out and I need to stick it to like a light pole or a mailbox or you know a refrigerator, I can do that and use pretty much anything metal as a light stand. Um, this one happens to have a cool little LED indicator on the back as well as different modes, um, RGB modes, so I can go through the entire, you know, gamut of um, that, the entire rainbow of colors. Um, and something like this is just going to not take up much room in your bag and allow you to break it out and either get those different looks with these hues or it's going to allow you to just have that little bit of key light that you're going to need if you're out and about um, this particular light has sort of all sorts of special effects like lightning and fire um, and like strobe and like car headlight lighting effects so this one's super cool this this particular light will run you $150 um, but like I said there's all kinds of options out there you just need a light and in some cases um, you can even use your uh, your smartphone flashlight if you have two in a pinch not a big deal um, so last but not least, one thing you really need to consider for vlogging is you need to consider your bag, right? Because a lot of times our vlogs and our YouTube videos take us all these crazy places um, and you need something that's going to be comfortable to wear. So I highly recommend, highly recommend an oversized fanny pack and by oversized I mean just a big one. It's not called an oversized fanny pack, that's just what I'm calling it. Um, I can fit pretty much um, all my vlogging stuff in here if uh, if I'm just you know going out for a short short day trip or something like that and I don't want to take a lot of stuff like a bigger camera or you know a whole bunch of different lenses then I'll just pack light I'll put all my vlogging stuff in this guy here I'm gonna show you guys as I'm talking um, I can put all my vlogging stuff in this guy here and uh, be just fine and it's not too much weight for me to carry around um, not too cumbersome to hold and it's not taking up any room in the car especially if it's like a day trip or if you have other filmmakers with you right um, all right so I have the a6400 the GoPro uh, GoPro mounts in the front the mic the pocket lights in this little back zipper back here and uh, I could fold up this and put this in there if I really wanted to. You can see the size there. But um, yeah, so something like this is really super simple. You don't need a big expensive bag. This bag was $30, so you don't need something huge. Um, something like that will get you, especially if you just want, you know, like a slim kit, um, which sometimes minimal minimalism is great. And then when I have it, I'll just sling it over my shoulder right and I'm good to go um, makes it nice and easy to carry now when I'm taking longer trips or longer hikes I need to take stuff like this tripod here because I think I'll need it or if I want to take you know like 
uh, all that other stuff and I want to take the drone and I want to take maybe the black magic camera and a couple additional lenses then I'll have a bigger bag like this right just a regular camera bag I like low pro bags um, this is the low pro I think this is the BP 250 or something like that pretty much any camera bag these days is pretty much standard just get uh, one that's a little bit bigger and get one I would recommend that has a rain cover built in the bottom here because especially if you're somebody that's trying to travel vlog or something like that then uh, you know your vlogs are going to take you to probably weird locations and it's going to rain it always does you know you want the rain cover to help not ruin your gear cover your bag um, so yeah so I recommend this one this one has all kinds of room um, I'll do another what's in my bag video and show you guys more of this in the future but you know there's a bunch of pockets in this it's a camera bag or you can get your you know um, get you something that's a little more classy like this sling bag here and it has a camera cube a little camera insert inside it and it's just a messenger bag right a crossbody messenger bag um, when I film weddings or when I used to film a lot of weddings I would take something like this because it looks a little bit more dressier than like the low pro bag or something like that I would take this bag but I would leave this in the trunk of my car and I would actually carry this one around the ceremony with me because it looks a little dressier and keep most of my essentials in here if I needed anything else I would hit the other bag but yeah so that's it so you guys need your camera you need your audio you need your support you need a light and you need a good bag so one extra thing that I would mention that you guys need is right here sense of adventure right so to tell a good story I think that you all need a sense of adventure um, and whether that is you jet setting to the other side of the world and being spontaneous and doing that sort of thing or just going to the other side of your city or just into your backyard I think that you need a sense of adventure and a sense of you know spontaneity that way you can just get out and you can just go shoot right and um, you know vlogging's a lot of fun a lot of people ask me why do you vlog and it's just because I feel like it is a creative outlet for me without the pressure of clients or uh, producers or people bearing down on me telling me that my art has to be a certain way I know that when it's my vlog I can do pretty much anything in it say anything I want in it and it can look however I want so I just have total control and I can have a lot of fun with it and that's why I vlog that and I just like capturing moments um, it's like a documentary every day right whether you're daily vlogging or not it's like just every time you pick it up to shoot a vlog it's like a little mini documentary um, and to me that's awesome yeah so that one about wraps this thing up guys so if you guys like these five things Friday's videos let me know in the comments give me a thumbs up because that does matter here on YouTube ding the bell and please take time to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos or any of the vlogs and as always, guys, remember, just go shoot, and I'll catch you on the next one.